Hey Internet, welcome to the Gred Troin YouTube channel. My name's Gred Troin, I'm a massive fan of Final Fantasy, and a massive fan of Final Fantasy XI, one of my all-time favorites in the series. I've beaten all the expansions, even the Voracious Resurgence. I've got a video uh, going through every single Final Fantasy XI expansion on this channel, and it's actually the most popular video on the channel. People tend to like it when I talk about Final Fantasy XI, and we've got an exciting new trailer from uh, Final Fantasy XIV Patch 7.1 Crossroads, which is going to have that big Final Fantasy XI crossover uh, with uh, Echoes of Anadil. They've already had the uh, the seasonal event with Iroha in Final Fantasy XI, uh, sorry, Final Fantasy XIV, which um, I enjoyed quite a bit. I hope they bring it back um, for this so people can get like a double whammy of uh, Echoes of Anadil and that Iroha crossover seasonal event. I think that'd be really cool. You know, they did it, I think, uh, like last year. So maybe they won't do it again, but I really hope they do, because I think that'd be really awesome. But um, yeah, we're going to react to this trailer and check it out. Got the band on the old march. Created studio, they no longer business unit. There we've got Juno. Like the lower tree, that's the... Boyata tree. That's uh, what the, the, the and gardens. I think that's what it is. Was Queen Sphine taken to the cloud? She must have been. To still remember her is strange. Oh, and for those who um, don't know, I haven't been all of Final Fantasy XIV. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've only been a Rome Reborn, and I'm planning on playing through the rest. I'm just playing through another game right now that's obnoxiously huge. Um, but if you're like, oh, this trailer is spoiling Final Fantasy XIV for you, I've already read spoilers. For I, I enjoy spoilers. They don't bother me. So that's not an issue. But I know spoilers for all the expansions. I don't remember, like, every single plot beat. But I know, like, the general synopsis of, like, where things go. And, um, yeah, so that's obviously some spoilers for the end of Dawn Trail, obviously. Even though I remember her, I'll never see her again. It seems that's what it means to die, I'm afraid. But... But what will happen to us? Are we just going to be sad forever? Ah, oh, man. Themes of mortality, they're just... That that stuff is heavy, and it, and it gets to me. Um, I do think about death basically every day. Uh, and just mourning the loss of those who are no longer with me. Um, t I took, like, a quiz once about, like, you know, what personality type are you? And I got goth, um, which, you know, doesn't feel like me. But they're like, you obsess over death way too much. I'm like, ooh, okay. What do you desire? Something that I had accepted I would never have in Tuliola. That I believed would forever be beyond me. That it was foolish to covet. Even should it cost me my life, I will save the Hexo! And the, I know a lot of people don't like uh, Wuklama, or however the name is. Unfortunately, because I've just made a joke about that character's name. And I just refer to that character as Woke Lama all the time because everyone gets really upset about the character being too woke because it's played by a trans person. And just the fact that those people exist is like, oh, it's woke and it's propaganda. And I think it's hilarious how many people are just triggered by like the existence of other human beings. Like, oh, this game is starring someone who isn't a white male. It's woke as opposed to just like there's other people who exist and they're allowed to be the main character. So, um... You know, I've heard a lot of people were just, like, annoyed by the character. From the cutscenes I watched, they seemed fine. I didn't have any issue with them. Um, but, yeah, just the, the anti-woke thing is really hilarious to me. And uh, for all the people who screeched about, like, oh, the SJWs are terrible, the anti-woke crowd is about a thousand times worse. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. Let's have some politics. Gamers love politics, right? Big 
pause a lot because I have commentary. Uh, because if you just want to watch the trailer, you can just you can just do that. I don't understand. So I saw a little bit of the uh, letter with the producer or whatever, whatever it's called with fourteen, where Yoshi P talks in Japanese. And I don't know what he says. Um, and they show a little bit of the gameplay of like a Prisha boss battle and. I don't know narratively why Prish is a boss battle, and I don't know why Prish is giant. Why is Prish a giant? I, I don't understand that. Alright, uh, I'm blanking on the names of those guys, but they were like uh, the the bad guys in um, Rise of the Xylart. There was one for each of the races, and like an embodiment of like, embodiment of greed, embodiment of envy. Um, blanking on their names. They had very cool designs, and obviously we got some Eleven music playing in the background. Uh, and I wonder if like this voiceover right now, I wonder what character it's for. Maybe it's for the Shadow Lord, because I saw some pictures of him from art. Um, so it looks like they're really focusing on, um, Base 11, uh, Rise of the Xylot, Chains of Promathia, and a lot of, uh, Dawn Trail had a lot of elements of, um, Treasures of Autogon, in particular of the designs of the races, so I can see, and obviously, you know, the 14 has a lot of 11, uh, callbacks, like the goblins in particular, um, a lot of the monster designs, but it, it looks like it's really focusing on that golden era of Eleven uh, from base game up to Treasures of Ottergon, which is slightly annoying to me because I think there's a lot of great content that came out after that era. And a lot of Eleven fans disagree with me. Um, it's basically like people who celebrate a band's entire catalog or the people who only like the first couple albums when they were really popular. That's kind of, kind of how it is with Eleven. So a lot of people write off anything that came out after 2006. And it looks like this expansion, um, sorry, this patch is going to focus on pretty much just stuff that came out before 2006, which, like, I get that's the most popular stuff, but it's like, ah, you know, I, I'd like a, a, you know, a Wings of the Goddess or a Seekers of a Duelin nod, that'd be cool, but I, I get it, I get it. of my rage quenches the candle of your trivial existence. And yeah, we're going to have the Cloud of Darkness back. So, would that be a Rhapsody's of Anadio nod? Maybe? I cannot die! Oh, Not until I have eradicated you and your kind from this world! So I think one of those guys called the Mabuja, I think. At last. Here and now I shall fulfill our promise. Yeah, so there was here. I'm going to show... Let me see. I've got let's see, letter from the producer. Oh, no, that's a summary. Um... Letter from the producer live. Let's see if that shows up in my feed. All right, yeah, because I'm going to get a little bit of the, like, footage from the producer thing. ぜひあの開発チームからの挑戦だと思って真っ向勝負をしていただけると大変嬉しいです。はい。最初の突入活動。Is this a different one? It's from... It's from one day ago. Okay, so this should be it. Where isn't there? All right, here we go. So a little bit of the footage here. Yeah, I've seen it. 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 Yeah, I've seen it.
Aha. But yeah, this is what I wanted to show you. Got lower Juno here. Got the teleport crystal. But it's really giving off dynamic vibes, especially with like the, the, the musical choice. It's just really, it's not the dynamic music, but it really is giving off dynamic vibes with how bleak it is. Yeah, so if, in case I wasn't able to be heard, I said it was giving off dynamic vibes for 11 fans who know that. So, but yeah, you know, looks great. Uh, I won't be able to play it for quite some time because I'm currently playing another Eden, and that game is super. Super long. Uh, it's great, but it is like a single player game that is the length of an MMO. Um, and I'm still making my way through that, so I'm probably not going to even play this until like. Like maybe spring. Maybe spring I'll get to playing this, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Um, yeah, there we go. V very big Dynamis vibes with these enemies here. All right, well. That is the video. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to check out my big, gigantic Final Fantasy XI video. It's the most popular video on the channel. Um, you know, a lot of people love it. A lot of people hate it. You can watch it and decide for yourself. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.